Hey, how are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, uh, my name is Tony Martinez. If we haven't met, I'm the owner and founder of TKO Financial Network. I'm your back office. Um, whether you're representing an agency that you're a part of or you were directly recruited inside of our net team, right? And, and essentially, I'm your VP. The goal here is to help you understand I'm your back office. I'm here to help you grow and build your agency according to how you want it to be in an independent, non-captive, non-contractual world. If you're a brand new agent and you're licensed, you probably have a ton of questions about how to get business submitted. I can, I can tell you from experience that I know what it is to represent, to start working with a company and feel like it takes forever to get contracts up and going, right? If, if, you're, if you're working this industry full time, it's even more frustrating because you're trying to pay your bills and you're trying to figure out how you can submit business. You've probably got a handful of clients you want to do it. So the point of this video right now today is to help you, help you 100% understand how as a brand new agent, our back office, our tools allow you to actually turn in business rather quickly as long as you're doing it the right way. So we're going to go through a couple different companies, a couple different methods that you can actually turn in business without having a writing number, but also address which companies you need to have a writing number with first and how to properly communicate with my back office team so that that business gets turned in smoothly, contracting can begin at the exact same time as, um, as the business is submitted, okay? Let me first start by telling you a couple processes, okay? Once you've done contracting, right? Our website is tkofinancialnetwork.com. I'll be doing a screen share here shortly uh, of that. But once you've gone through contracting, meaning you've done all four steps, You've submitted your documentation, created your SureLC portal, sent an email to my licensing team, done the direct deposit. Once you've done all of that and you're completely, you're like, hey, I'm good to go, right? What you're waiting for is for the companies through SureLC to send you individual emails, okay? SureLC is nothing more than a gateway portal that sends you contracting paperwork for each individual company. So if we're contracting you with seven companies, eight companies, nine companies, You'll get seven, eight, nine different emails, and you've got to open those emails up. When you open it up, you'll pop in your credentials, which is typically, I believe, your social security number, date of birth, whatever, and it's open, and you'll see the application already pre-filled. It takes two minutes. You just click, 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 sign, click, 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 sign. Electronic, you can do it from your phone, your computer, whatnot. What that does, it puts you in what's called JIT status. JIT stands for just in time. Now, I want to be very clear when I tell you this. That just means that your paperwork is in good shape. We've reviewed it. It's ready to be turned in. It doesn't mean that we're going to turn in the business. We're not, we're not going to turn in contracts without knowing. We're not going to turn in contracts without knowing that the agent has actual business to turn in. If you come from an organization where they get you appointed right away, first and foremost, without a problem, that, that's great. Unfortunately, that's not who we are. It costs anywhere from $60 to $100 per contract. And if we're going to get agents contract with seven, eight different companies, we want to know that every that, that they have business to turn in and that and that essentially that cost is being is being recouped with the business turning in. It does not make sense for us to have 100, 200 contracts out there without actual business to turn in because now it turns into a financial loss. So hopefully you can understand that. However, we've put in place a lot of tools that allow you to turn in business, run quotes and everything without even having a writing number. So if you're watching this video, unless you're in the state of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is the only state where you actually need a writing number first. Most every other state, you could turn in business without having that writing number. We provided the tools and we're going to talk about that today. Uh, again, I will be screen sharing here momentarily to kind of show you the ropes of how to do it, but I put together... Uh, almost like a flow chart so you understand which companies and what the process is for each company. So take out your notepad, take out your pen, and let's get rocking. Now, once you're in JIT status, just-in-time status, it's your job as the agent, not the VP, not your upline, not me, none of us. It's your job to communicate with our licensing team, okay, our licensing team, and letting them know, hey, I need contracting to start for this company, this company, and this company because I've got business that I'm about to turn in. Right. You can let us know ahead of time if you know for sure you're about to turn in business. 
or you can let us know when you when you turned in the business. And what we'll do is we'll begin contracting at the exact same time that that application is going through underwriting. So the client never misses a beat, you never miss a beat, and we can kind of go from there. Okay, let's get started first with this flow chart here. Okay, so I'm talking to you today if I'm a brand new agent. Okay, if I'm a brand new agent, I know how to do, and I know, and, and I'm an experienced agent, so I know how to do IULs, I know how to do term insurance, I know how to do all that stuff. And if I'm not experienced, I'm willing to, you know, fall forward and learn, right? A couple things. Number one, let's talk about North American. North American is the only company we have in our platform that without a writing number, everything, in, everything today is all about a new agent who just did contracting without a writing number. North American is the only company in our platform where you can actually go to the callums.com website, right? That's our back office IMO. You can find the link to that in our TKO Financial Network website. You can go to the, you, once you're logged in, you can go into the e-app services, log in with your credentials. It will take you to iPipeline. iPipeline is the electronic application system. And in there, you can actually run full-fledged quotes, term insurances, IULs, and GULs, full-fledged quotes, and submit applications. It's the only company in iPipeline where you can run quotes. All the other companies, when you go to iPipeline, is to submit the app. North America is the only one you can run quotes and submit applications. And this is how you would do it. Again, call, you'd log in, obviously, first to tkofinancialnetwork.com. You go down to scroll down, you go to the Our IMO button, and it'll take you to the Call UMS portal. You'll log in with your personal credentials and then go into the e-app services. You'll find e-app button under the agent services uh, button, e-app services. This will take you to iPipeline. You have to actually log in again into iPipeline before you can go ahead and do that. So if you think about it, you're logging into TKO Financial Network, you're logging into callums.com and you're logging into iPipeline. So I would make sure you have logins for all of those ready to go. That's how you submit North American. Here are four other companies. SBLI, which is great for term insurances with a guarantee of not, not requiring a medical. Doesn't mean a guarantee of approval, just a guarantee of not having to do a medical up to 750000 Foresters, which has term insurance, term insurance with return of premium, final expense in here as well, universal life in here. Mutual of Omaha, which has express IUL, term insurance, term with ROP, guaranteed universal life, and NLG, National Life Group, which has a very strong IUL platform, a term life insurance platform with living benefits. NLG, I love to use for non-residents because they're one of the most flexible companies for non-residences. All four of these companies, you would go tkofinancialnetwork.com, log in. Our IMO, which will take you to the Call UMS portal. Then you can actually run quotes. You can run quotes in the Call UMS portal. There's a button there that lets you run quotes. Now the quoting system, the quoting system, for through that portal will only let you do term insurance quotes, term insurance quotes, and uh, universal life quotes. It won't let you do final expense. It won't let you do IULs. It won't let you do any of those. But for term insurance quotes and universal life quotes, you can do that right there. Once you've ran the quotes, you can go to the eApp services. Okay, under the same website, go to eApp services, log into iPipeline, and you can submit applications for all four of those companies without a problem whatsoever, okay? That's these companies right here, right? Let's talk about these ones right here. Americo, Oxford. Americo is a good final expense company, a good simplified term company, okay? It's probably our number one final expense simplified term writer. Oxford is a final expense company, Mutual of Omaha, which we talked about over here already, Foresters, which we talked about over here already, and SBLI, which we talked about over here. Why am I bringing them up over here? I'll show you why. If you log into TKO Financial Network to this uh, dot com and you go to mobile quick quotes, mobile quick quotes, you'll see that there's a link for every one of these companies and a couple others. Now, those links will redirect you to their mobile sites where without a writing number, you can run quotes. You can run quotes. Right. And I like it because it's more personalized quotes with the logos of the companies right there. So you could run your simplified uh, term quotes here. You can run your final expense quotes. You can run your final expense here. Mutual of Omaha, you can get pricing on it. The one I love the most out of all of these, no lie, is Forrester's. Because Forrester's mobile quick quote link lets you run what's called plan right, which is their final expense. Um, the your term product, right? And once you run the quote, you there's there's a section there where you can actually embed an email address and a full professional quote will be emailed to that email address. You can run quotes there, 
right? You can run quotes. You're not able to submit business. You're able to run quotes. Which of these companies are you able to go to the e-app and submit? SBLI, Foresters, Mutual of Omaha. Oxford and Americo, you would actually need a writing number first before you can go ahead and submit the application. But you can at least run quotes for all of these under these portals right here. You could submit apps by going again to the Call UMS e-app services for Mutual of Omaha, for Foresters, for SBLI. But Oxford and Americo, you would need writing numbers first. So hopefully that helps. Now, let's talk about these bad boys here because we write a lot of this. Oxford, Allianz, Anico, and Americo. Notice those two are over here already. We talked about them. All four of these, you need to either have a writing number first in order to submit the application or you submit a paper application, okay? And then request contracting to begin so that you can get a writing number. Why is that? All of these companies here use iPipeline. These, however, do not use iPipeline. And because they don't use iPipeline, they use their own internal portal. You need to be able to log, you need to be logged in first to their website to be able to submit the applications. But you can't log into their website until you get a writing number, right? So if you're in a hurry as a brand new agent and you want to submit business, right? You have to first, you, you would, in my opinion, you would contact John Countryman okay, out at, at, a, at our back office at, at, call, at call UMS, right? You'd contact John Countryman. You'd say, hey, I'm a part of the TKO FMO. I need a paper application for this state, this product, this company, or this state, this company, this product. They'll email you the application. You could do a paper application for any one of these. Submit the application, okay? You would submit it to Neelam at the UMS site, okay? There's a, there's a, a method to be able to submit those applications to her. And then what you want to do is make sure you tell my contracting team, my contracting team, make sure you tell them that you want a contracting to begin for these companies, whichever company it is, because you submitted an actual paper application. If you're willing to wait and you know you're going to write one of these companies, then what you want to go ahead and do is, um, is go ahead and, and tell my licensing team to begin contracting because you know for sure you're going to submit business. The way you want to let my contracting team know to begin contracting, you go to the tkofinancialnetwork.com website. You go all the way down to support. And in support, you'll see contracting request links. You'll be able to go ahead and fill that information out right there. Okay. I just gave you a tutorial on all of these companies. The only one of these companies that you can actually get an IUL illustration would be North American. Why? Because they use the iPipeline eApp services for their illustration software. If you want IUL illustrations for NLG, Mutual of Omaha, uh, for Allianz, or for Anico, the only way to do it without a writing number, without a writing number, is to contact John Countryman or to contact your VP. I would contact first your upline VP, see if they can run you the illustration. If they can't, contact John Countryman, have him run you the illustration. Please don't call them and tell them that you need the illustration within five minutes. Be respectful, give them some time, okay? Uh, John Countryman at UMS is open Monday through Friday uh, from 8.30 until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now once you have all your writing numbers, you don't got to worry about this stuff. You can log in directly to the portal, submit the business, okay? My advice to you is this. When you have writing numbers, submit the business through the, through the, through the company's website versus going to the Call UMS eApp. Because if you go to Call UMS eApp, I want you to understand, although it will get to the company, okay, my, my, my team and UMS has to approve that application before it gets sent into the company. So it might take a day or so or delay. Whereas if you go directly to the company's website and submit it, bypasses and automatically gets submitted in without a single stinking problem. Okay. couple other tips for you. If you don't have a writing number, when it asks for the writing number, put straight zeros across the board or put the word pending, whichever one the system permits you to do. That's number one. Number two Make sure you communicate with your VP and my licensing team. Now, my licensing team is not calling UMS and speaking to the licensing department. That licensing department is completely off limits. The only people that speak to that licensing team is my licensing team, okay? You speak directly to my licensing team, okay? And, and you let them know, hey, listen, I turned in business, this company, this carrier, can you start contracting? Again, it's in the, the support, right, website. It's in the support tab. Right. And make sure that they begin contracting. It's your job to make sure they begin contracting. 
Okay, so just because you send in the notification, I would still want to make sure you get a verbal of that, okay? Uh, because you don't want to delay your writing numbers, tklfinancialnetwork.com. I'm going to share the computer here now. That's my tip for you guys. Um, as a brand new agent, uh, TKL Financial, Financial Network. If I was a brand new agent, I'd be leveraging heavily North American. Because North American, I get the GUL, term insurances, and IULs, and I can run my own illustrations, right? It, again, that, that's, this is for that agent that has that rush. You know, I just came on board. I have no contracts. I want to write some business. Boom. I'd go that route real quick, right? I'd be very proactive, right? If you're meeting with clients and you think you're going to be writing one of these companies, right? Let us know ahead of time. We'll begin contracting no problem as long as you know for, that there's a fairly strong certainty you're going to submit an application, okay? My favorite companies, I'm going to tell you, Allianz for IUL, 100%. 100%, okay? GULs, it's a toss-up between North American and American National. doesn't really matter, right? Uh, final expense, Americo. Americo, where is it? Right there. Americo, 100%. They've got some of the fastest simplified underwriting that, that you can imagine, right? Whether you're a VP or not a VP, I want you to know this as well, too. You will be a direct-to-carrier agent for Foresters, for Americo, and for Aetna. That doesn't mean contracting is going to begin right away. Again, you got to find the business and let us know. But for Foresters, Americo, and Edna, you will be a direct-to-carrier agent. You're going to get paid directly from them 100% of your commissions. For all the other companies, if you're not a VP, you're going to get paid directly from the FMO, which would be TKO Financial Network. We pay every Friday. Now, does that mean that you'll be in the FMO forever? No. In order for you to get paid direct-to-carrier from all of these companies, every one of these companies, you've got to do 50000 of issue placed business within a 12 month period and have at least a 70% persistency, meaning at least 70% of your business stays on the books, minimum 50,000 issue placed in force within a 12 month rolling period. And what happens at that point in time is you earn your stripes, you show TKO that you know how to write good business, maintain good business, and every single company that you're writing, you would be a direct to carrier agent for every single one of them without any questions asked. But in the beginning, in the beginning, if you're not a VP or above, okay, so if you're an associate, senior associate, or field manager, okay, in the beginning, you're only going to be direct to carry to Foresters, um, Foresters, Americo, and Aetna. Those are the only three you're going to be a direct to carry or agent. All the rest of them will be directly in the FMO. Let me share the screen and kind of regurgitate visually what I just shared with you. So this is the... TK, am I here? One second. I want to make sure I shared the right one. Share number two. All right, perfect. I am sharing it. All right, so this is the TKO Financial Network website. Click agent login. Put in your info. I'm going to put in mine. Admin uh, TKO Financial Network.com. Net, sorry. Oh my goodness, can't type today. Once you're logged in, you go right here, this little drop down. there's everything you need. There's how you enroll an agent if you're recruiting and building. There's how you invite to the corporate overview if you're, if you're gonna participate in the BOM. There's pre-licensing classes for non-licensed agents. You would have already done this if you're watching this video. This is licensing and contracting. Okay, this is where you check the status of your writing numbers. So rather than contacting the licensing team on a day, hey, do I have my writing number? Do I have my writing number? You can go here, you'll find your name, right? You'll see what status you're in, whether you're in JIT status, whether it's waiting for advisor, whether it's pending for a writing number. Waiting for advisor, by the way, means that you have not signed the electronic application yet it's sitting in your inbox. JIT means we've reviewed your paperwork, it's in good status. Pending means we've submitted your contracting paperwork and we're just waiting on an actual writing number. This, when you do turn in the business, is very important. When you do turn in business, with that, whichever company is on this underneath the TKO umbrella, you've got to go right here to new business transmittal. I just clicked it. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. And you've got to turn in, turn in an electronic transmittal form. 
you got to turn it in. If it's life, here it is. If it's annuity, here it is. If it's any other, any other product right here, it is. But you need to turn in a transmittal, letting us know that you've turned in business so we know properly about compensation without a problem, okay? Now, let's go through a couple of these things here. Here's the comp grid. If you want to take a look at compensation, how much a, pro a particular product, a particular company pays, there it is. Promotion guidelines, if you want to learn how to get yourself promoted, reach out to your VP, but here it is, okay? Let's go over some of the things. Here's your mobile quick quotes. There it is. Oxford's, Anico's, Americo's, SBLI, Forrester's is pretty cool. You click Forrester's, it opens it up, right? Plan right is the final expense. This is the universal life. Here's the your term. It's pretty cool, right? You can literally run the quotes, email them to yourself. Run the quotes, email them to the client, no problem, okay? There's more companies that are there. Here are the actual carrier websites. When you do get the writing numbers, you can go right here. And this will actually take you to the full-fledged carrier websites. You can log in right there. Our IMO is how you get to UMS. Here it is. Our IMO, you click it, it takes you to UMS. You would have already created this login. All right, let me pop in mine. There you go. Okay, you go right here to more. If you want to run quotes, here's agency life quotes. If you want to do e-apps, you go to e-app services. Takes you right there. I go is the service. You do try it now. And there begins your there begins your, your logins, right? So you plug in your credentials. If you've not created an account here, you got to make sure you go right here and create an account. You got to create an account, you got to, I don't know how much more I can express that, you got to create an account. My automatic logins aren't there because I'm logged in under a different Gmail. Let me do this. Let me sign out of this Gmail. Let me use another one. Let me use mine. I got a couple different Gmails, so... I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Good, good, got it, cool, cool, cool. Am I logged in? Yes, I am. Let's go into my mobile one more time. Let's see if my services, my logins wake up. Hmm, I don't know why it's not waking up. I really wanna show you that. Hang on, let me, let me do this for a quick minute. Let me do something here. Go. Uh -huh. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go through that piece again here. Ah, good. All my logins are automatic now. Good. I'm horrible with passwords. So let's see here. So let's go back into our IMO. Log in, <coughs> you have services, oh, log in, you have services, I take you right here to iGo, try now, bam, there's my login credentials, again, you got to create that account first, you'll get an email to verify, and there it is, right, so let's go through a quick North American exercise, right, if you wanted to do that, do start new case let's do an example here let's do a particular client we'll call this person john smith born august 18 1983 mail let's give it let's give the file a name smith john let's do a gul right gul case select the state that you're in Select the product. Is it a term? Is it a universal life? Right? Which one is it? Right? Let's pick a universal life. We'll click, click find available products. Here's a list of all the companies you can submit applications electronically with. 
right? This button right here means this is the E app. Any button over here means you can run quotes and illustrations. Remember, I said North American is the only one. There's North American is the only one that you can run quotes right through this system. So you click select here, it takes you to the North American quoting system. Here you can run term quotes, right? Look, switch that to term, universal or index universal. You can run the quotes, go through the process and then go hit, go to eApp. Once you ran the quote, you know, you, if you want to review a professional illustration, you view it here. Once you've ran the quote, you go to eApp right here and it takes the information, transposes it to eApp and you start submitting an electronic application. This is the only company you can do it that way through, right? All the other companies, you can go to eApp services and submit the app. Let's see here real quick. Let's see here, start new case. You can go and submit the app, right? Let's do the same thing. So Smith, John, ah. Smith, same thing, 18, 19. This, let's make this guy a little bit younger. He's 37. Male. Sample. Let's pick the state, Florida. It doesn't really matter. We'll pick term insurance. All the other ones, you could do just you could just run the apps. I mean, you could do the applications. So let's just say you wanted to sell foresters. Right? You wanted to do a Forrester's um, term insurance policy, non-medical, right here. What I would be doing is I would go into the TKO portal because I know there's a quick quote system. There's mobile quick quotes. Go right here to Forrester's. We're doing a term, so let's pick the your term product, non-medical, state of Florida, you know, run the, put all the parameters in, run your quote. There's the quote. Owner would like to get a copy of my email. Boom, put the email in, bam, send it. Professional email is now sent. You know exactly, and then what I would do essentially is I'd email it to yourself. Email it to yourself so you have the quote as well. That way when you go right here to eApp, you can pick Forrester's non-medical and bam, you click that and you start the eApp. So you have the, the quote and you have the eApp to submit. And without a writing number, again, put zeros across the board or pending across the board. Then you got to do what? Two things. You've got to do two things. One, go right here to support. Carrier contracting requests. You click it. This is how you let my licensing team know that you have business to turn in and you don't have a writing number for it. Fill in this information. That's number one. Second thing you got to do is you got to go to the new business transmittal and boom, you got to submit the life transmittal. So those, those, are the, those are the two things you always got to do when you don't have a writing number. Once you submitted an app, okay, let the licensing team know you submitted an app so they can begin contracting and then submit the transmittal. Once you've got writing numbers, you don't need to let the licensing team know that you are submitting business and you need writing numbers because you already have them, but you always need to, no matter what, do a transmittal for every single stinking application underneath the TKO platform. Hopefully this video helps you a thousand percent. Let me do one more quick tutorial on how to run quotes using the UMS quoting system. Here's agency life quotes. And this is gonna require you to kind of play with it, right? For companies that you can't run quotes using EAP, right, which is everybody outside of North American. For companies that there's no mobile quoting system, right, which is everybody outside of SB, uh, let me see here, America, Oxford, Mutual, Mobile, Forrester's, SBLI. This is another portal you can go to to run quotes, right? Worst case scenario, you can always contact John Countryman because he can run you all the quotes. But let's do a sample. Let's say I'm meeting with a guy named Tony Smith. This service here lets me run quotes only for term insurances and universal life. Remember that, not IULs. Male, non-tobacco user, state of uh, Florida again, or California, wherever. His rating, right? I've done a financial analysis. He's a non-smoker, very healthy. So I'll run a preferred rating or I could pick standard if I want. I could pick both if I want. 
right? For, make, for, for the sake of making things simple, I'll just pick 180. Let's say I want to quote him on a 30-year term and a universal life product that's to age 100, right? So I'm doing a 30-year term and a, and, a, and a UL product to age 100. I want to pick the companies, right? So which company has a UL product? It's American National. Which company has term products? Is, um, let's do Foresters here. Let's do Mutual of Omaha here. Remember, I could do Foresters and Mutual of Omaha through the mobile quote system, but I could also do here if I want to. Let's do that. Let's pick uh, 500,000. Oh, that's 50,000. Let's pick 500,000. Let's pick 750,000. Two different quotes. I can put my information here if I want to. So, you know, we'll call, you know, whoever the agent is, right? So, Tony Martinez, my email, my phone number. Ah. You can put your license number here if you want. It's all, you know, making it professional. You can hit run quotes and ready. Bam, there's your quotes. This is my 30 year. Here's my GUL to age 100. Look at the companies, the options, right? The most cost effective here is who? American National at 67. That is your term, uh, term life answers, which is a full medical, the Mutual of Omaha, or I can do Foresters for 80 or I could do signature term with American National for 99. I have all, I picked the companies, they're, they're showing me the quotes. Let's say I really like this one and I like this one. And then I go to the GUL and look, American National are the options. Let's just say, I know he can't afford 438 for 750,000, but he can't afford 292 for 500,000. So I'll pick that one. So I've selected three quotes. I can do right here, a share. When I hit share, how do I wanna send them the illustrations? Download it, email it, or text message it. Personally, I love the text message option. I love the text message option. You click text message, hit next. You've got different views for the illustration. What format do you want? Detailed version, condensed version, a features comparison, a premium comparison. Let's do a details, hit next. And then you can include their phone number. I'm gonna put my phone number in here. You put their phone number and they're gonna get a text message with the link of that quote. You can put a personalized message here if you want to. You know, thanks for lunch. See you tomorrow here are the illustrations as promised. Hit send, boom. What happens is it gets sent, right? Now, let me show. here's what they received. I already got it, by the way. This is what they received. There's a link, and they get this. What I would do if I was you, i take that link, copy it, and save it yourself. So as your client's looking at the link, you can look at the link, and you could, you know, look at it and be like, okay, which one do you want to do, right? So if I'm a new non-licensed agent, and the client decides I want to do American National, Oh crap, American National, you know, uh, I, I can't submit applications using the e-app services because American National falls into that first category that I talked about where you need either a writing number or a paper app. So you got to decide, right? Can the client wait a week? If they can, perfect. Reach out to my licensing team, right? How do you reach out to my licensing team? Again, right here to support. Carrier contracting requests, fill out the information. Hey, listen, I want to get contracts in because I'm about to turn in business. I haven't turned it in yet. That's what you're letting them there know, right? Or, or you contact John Countryman. John, listen, I need you to send me a paper application for a term product for American National State of Florida. I'm going to turn in the application. You're going to meet with the client, take the paper application. Then you're going to submit that business to the UMS portal. Now, how you do all of that, let's say you're, how do I contact UMS? Where do I get a hold of them guys at? This is their phone number right here. There's an 800 number. There's the local number. They're based out of Jersey. Okay, you call them up. I would talk to Neelam for submitting business. Once you have the application in your hand, I would talk to John Countryman for illustration designs. 
Stay in communication with your VP. Let your VP help and assist. Guys, hopefully this helped you out. Understand something. I'm just giving you tools to better speed up your business, okay? Give this to your downlines as they start going through contracting as well too, okay? And more importantly, work with your VPs and touch everything that I'm showing you. Play with it, use it, utilize it because even this training that I'm giving you, none of this is gonna sink in 100% until you actually touch it, feel it, and expose yourself to it and actually get, get the muscles moving and understanding how to run those quotes. Have a good one. Be blessed. I'll see you around. Let's see who turns in business. My biggest, my biggest challenge is trying to get people, not challenge, my biggest mission is getting people from contracts to commissions within less than two weeks of them coming on board. Is that going to be you? Have a good one. Be blessed. Bye-bye.